Hi, Prince and Princesses. I'm Auntie Kay, and this is our children's Sabbath school program. And guess what? You are welcome to come along with me. I am so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my H-E-A-R-T. Yes, I am happy that, yes, I have the love of Jesus in my heart, but I'm happy that you are here with me. And a wonderful and a happy Sabbath to us all. Lesson nine, yes, we're gonna get into it this week. And for those of you, you should know by now, you can run and go and get your quarterlies, quarterlies. Yes, because we're on lesson nine, and we're looking at a bitter choice. Ooh, have you ever tasted something that's bitter? I sure have, and ooh, it runs chills through my body. Mm, it's not a nice taste. But we're going to figure out as we read and as we learn on this episode, or we're discussing Lesson 9, what it's all about. Happy Sabbath, my darlings, my prince and princesses. Before we go any further, let us go before our Father in prayer with happy hearts. Let's close our eyes. Father, this is the day that you have made. It is a wonderful Sabbath where together we gather to learn about you. It is where we come to sing about you. It is where we come to share you with others. Thank you for this Sabbath day and thank you for every prince and princess who at this time are willing and able and excited to learn more about you. Thank you, Father, for hearing this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Guess what? Before Uncle PJ, before we go any further, Uncle PJ just walked past. You know, whenever Uncle PJ walks by, we have to just have him say hi to everyone. Yep, he surprised y'all. He wasn't expecting it. But Uncle PJ, come on over and say hi to the prince and princesses. Hey, what's up? It's your favorite uncle, Uncle PJ. Hey, hey, God bless you. God bless you. Oh, my goodness. At this time, we're just going to jump over into our welcome. Hello and welcome to Auntie Kay's Children's South School Program where Prince and Princesses all around the world get to enjoy and learn about the love of God through sign language, messages with Princess Mother Ray, character teachers from Nails Made to Nuggets, Sing Along Time, Mary Versus, Story Hill with Princess Da Vincia, Test Your Knowledge with Quiz Kids, Hashtag Puzzle Fun, Enjoy Object Lessons with Auntie Patty Pat, Bible Questions with Ask Pass Vanessa, Create Crafty Crafts and Cook Yummy Goodness with the Girls Tasty Treats. So, no matter where you're living on this great big planet, you are welcome to participate, enjoy, and share. Yes, we live far and wide, but God's love connects us. No matter how you look, where you're from, the color of your skin, or even your culture, welcome. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. You are all welcome. Every Sabbath, just come on over to the NTK Children's Sabbath School program where together we're going to learn about our Heavenly Father. So welcome. At this time, Princess Mallory, she's coming up with our message sign of the day. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Let's sign together. I thank God for choosing to save me. What an awesome message. Oh, and it says, I thank Jesus for choosing to save me. Oh, what a wonderful message that is for all of us to know and understand that we're thankful that Jesus has chosen us. And how did he choose us? By dying on that old rugged cross for you and I. He chose us by huh, saying, Father, I'm willing to go down there to die for my brothers and sisters. I'm thankful that Jesus chose to save me and I'm thankful he has chosen you also. It's just for us to know to choose him. Mm -hmm. And by choosing him, we do so by giving our lives to him. Thank you, Princess Mallory, for sharing our message sign of the day with us. And now we're going to send up praises to our Heavenly Father ooh, and our Heavenly Brother, Jesus, yes, through songs and praise. It's sing a long time.
We got cow, cow, power to live God's way. Cow, cow, power to live God's way. That's God's gift to us today. Cow, cow, power to live God's way. We got cow, cow, power to live God's way. Cow, cow, power to live God's way. That's God's gift to us today. Jesus promised that when he'd gone, he wouldn't leave us all alone. But he'd give us the Holy Spirit, so we won't be on our own. Even though he bled and died, he rose in victory. And left his Holy Spirit to comfort you and me. We got cow, cow, power to live God's way. Cow, cow, power to live God's way. That's God's gift to us today. Some things seem impossible, no matter how hard you try. With God, all things are possible. There's victory in Jesus Christ. As we learn the Word of God, our faith will grow and grow. And those great big giants will start to melt like snow. We got power, power, power to live God's way. Power, power, power to live God's way. That's God's gift to us. When the Holy Spirit comes To be witnesses to the world Of the life we can have through God's Son God's Son, God's Son We got cow, cow, power to live God's way Cow, cow, power to live God's way That's God's gift to us today Cow, cow, power to live God's way We got cow, cow, power to live God's way
And after those great songs of praise, yes, indeed, we're going to hear our memory verse for lesson nine. <laughs> Thank you so much, my prince, for sharing with us our memory verse for lesson nine. And remember that we can find our memory verses in our quarterlies. Yes, every week our story, yes, has our message and also our memory verse. Thank you so much, my prince, for sharing that with us. And now, Princess Da Vinci, she's coming to share with us our story. So for those of you who you have your quarterlies, you can read along with Princess Da Vinci with story time. It's story time with me, Princess Da Vinci. Hi, boys and girls. It's story time. A better choice. Have you ever been punished for something you did not do? If you were, how did you feel? In our Bible story today, we will learn about a choice Jesus made. A choice to be punished for something he didn't do. The Last Supper was over. Jesus and his disciples walked to the Mount of Olives. They climbed to the Garden of Gethsemane, a place where Jesus often prayed. Jesus led the disciples a little way into the garden. Wait here, he said. Then he asked Peter, James, and John to go further into the garden with him. Watch and pray, Jesus told them. Jesus moved on a little further. Quietly, he prayed, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. He longed for someone to share his sorrow. He returned to the three men, but they slept. Three times he prayed that same prayer. Three times he sought comfort from the three disciples. A bright light shone from Jesus' direction. A shining angel cradled Jesus in his arms, talking quietly. Jesus became calm and serene. He had been strengthened to meet the cross. Get up, Jesus said to Peter, James, and John. It is time to go. My enemies are coming. They hardly reached the, disciple, the other disciples when lights of a mob approached. Many soldiers, people, and some leaders of, the Israel, of Israel led into the garden by Judas. Judas greeted Jesus with a kiss. Whom do you seek? Jesus asked the mob. Jesus of Nazareth, they answered. I am he. Jesus replied, Jesus could not have escaped, but he chose to stand before the mob. The disciples watched, silent with wonder. The mob quickly gathered around Jesus. He spoke again, If you seek me, let these others go their way, Jesus said, pointing to the disciples. Then the soldiers used ropes to tie Jesus' hands together. The disciples couldn't believe their eyes. They thought Jesus would walk away. He had done that before, but this was different. The mob began to move back down into the valley. They were taking Jesus toward the high priest's palace. This was unbelievable. The disciples turned and ran away. They couldn't understand why Jesus would let himself suffer like this. It was amazing love that led Jesus to choose to suffer. Love for all those his father had created. Love for you and for me. Boys and girls, you remember that song that says, Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, 
how he loves you and oh how he loves me oh how he loves you and me we must remember that we must obey all of god's and jesus rules because he gave his life for us and he didn't have to so we must thank him every day for that happy sabbath I'm Princess Davincia and thank you for joining me for story time. A bitter choice. Mm, 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 mm. But thankfully the story was read so wonderfully by Princess Davincia. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Oh, and this story just makes me even more thankful and reminds me of our message that says, I thank Jesus for choosing to save me. And he did that by offering up himself as a sacrifice for all of us. Ooh, thank you so much, Princess Davincia, for sharing our story with us. And thank you, Jesus, for dying for all of our sins. At this time, we're gonna hear from Thim and Nathan as they share with us what they would have learned. Today we have a very special guest with us today, and her name is Eliaza. That means that means hello, guys. We had a very interesting lesson this week. The story of this week talks about Jesus, and the stories of Jesus are great. So. The thing that me and Nessa have given the Yaza, what we have learned, is that Jesus, Jesus died, died for our sin. He died for my sin, your sins, and my sins and her sins. Yes. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Prince Thim. Thank you, Prince Nathan, for sharing with us what you would have learned from this week's powerful story. And now we're going to see what you would have learned from the story because Quiz Kids is coming up. When the Last Supper was over, Jesus and his disciples walked to where did they go? Was it A, Mount Pisgah, B, Mount Sinai, or C, Mount of Olives? C. Mount of Olives Jesus often prayed at this location. What is the name of the place? Was it A. Mount Carmel, B. Garden of Gethsemane, or C. Synagogue? B. Garden of Gethsemane Which three disciples did Jesus ask to go into the garden with him? Was it A. John, Peter, and James, B. Matthew, Mark, and Paul, or C. Simon, Judas, and Luke? A. John, Peter, and James What was the name of the disciple who betrayed Jesus? It was Judas. And after Quiz Kids, it's now time for Hashtag Puzzle Fun. It's hashtag puzzle time! A bitter choice puzzle. Directions. Sometimes it is hard to know how to help another person. In this week's lesson, Jesus asked some of his disciples to pray with him. To find their names, untangle the following letters. First, cross out every other letter, beginning with the second letter. Write on the lines provided the first five letters that are not crossed out. Then, write on the lines provided the first five letters that are crossed out. Of the remaining letters, circle the first J and then every other letter. Write the circle letters on the lines provided. Now, I know that's a lot of instructions to try and remember, but put on your thinking caps 
And do you remember in Quiz Kids, I asked the question, which three disciples went into the garden with Jesus? And guess what? Then we will have the answer. I see those brains ticking and I'm hearing the answers. Yes, you're correct. It was Peter, James, and John. So now let's go ahead and just put those names right there. So although we had a lot of instructions, we know the answer. It's Peter, James, and John. And now we're going to hear our Bible question with Ask Pastor Nasa. Hello, Pastor Nasa. My name is Jazir from the Cameron Islands. I am an Adventist. I have family and friends that are not Seventh day Adventists. They attend Sunday church. Will they go to heaven? Hey, thank you so much for that question. It's a really good one. Well, you know, in the book of Acts, chapter 17 and verse 30, the Bible says, Truly, these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent. You see, boys and girls, because of sin, man was separated from God. And that means our understanding of God was diluted. It was not clear. And we just were in a mess. But Jesus came to save us from sin. And now we can have a good relationship with God. However, at the same time, there are some people, they may be our family members, they may be our friends, who don't understand all the things about God. In fact, we all are growing and learning more about God every day we spend time with Him. And that's why the best thing that we can do that can secure us, the only thing that we can do that will save us is to give our lives to Jesus. That's right. When we give our lives to Jesus, He promises to come in. He promises to send the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us into more truth, more truth about how we dress and what we eat and what day is the Sabbath. He is going to guide us and direct us. And Jesus is the only one who can save us. And so the best thing that we can do for a family member, for a friend, and even for ourselves is to look to Jesus. And once he comes in, he will do all the rest. See you next time. What a wonderful question. Thank you so much for submitting it. And thank you, Pastor Nasa, for always being here to be able to answer it. And now, Aunt Polly, she's over at Crafty Craft Corner, y'all, waiting to share with us our craft for this week. And as we should know by now, every one of our crafts has something to do with our story. So let's see what craft Aunt Polly is gonna get from this story for this week.
Oh, thank you so much, Aunt Paulina. That is a thoughtful craft indeed. Praying hands with the memory verse written on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Aunt Polly. And now after we've walked away from Crafty Craft Corner, it's now time for us to head on over to Mission Story Street. <laughs> yes, with Aunt Reese. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Our title for this week's story is called Meeting Christ in Prison Part 1. And as I think about that title, the song comes to mind. Take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. I just want to praise him. I just want to praise him. In the African country of Egypt, Joseph went to prison for something that he didn't do. He was innocent. In the African country of Uganda... A teenage boy named Raphael went to prison for something that he did do. He was not innocent. You probably remember the Bible story of Joseph, who was accused falsely by Potiphar's wife and ended up being thrown into prison. But Joseph, who was raised by God-fearing parents, was a good prisoner. He was kind and worked hard and soon he was working for the warden of the prison. The Bible says in Genesis 39, 21-23, the Lord was with him. He showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. So the warden put Joseph in charge of all those held in the prison and he was made responsible for all that was done there. The warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. After some time, Joseph interpreted the king's dream and later was freed from prison. Raphael's story, however, was a little different. He was also raised by God-fearing parents, but he wasn't interested in God. He liked to listen to bad music and go to bad places. One night, he was at a bad place when a big fight broke out. The police arrested Raphael and sent him to prison. Raphael knew that he deserved to be in prison. He was not innocent because he had taken part in a fight, but he didn't want to be locked up. He missed father and mother very much. For five months, he thought about the bad decisions that he had made. He had chosen bad friends. He had gone to bad places. He had taken part in a fight. How he wished that he could have a second chance. He would make better decisions. One day, Raphael was chosen to help clean the house of the prison warden. At first, Raphael was a little scared of the warden. The warden was a big man in charge of the prison and all the prisoners. But then Raphael saw that the warden was a very kind man. He treated Raphael like a son. So even though Raphael badly missed the father that he left home, he found a loving father in the warden. Whenever he went to the warden's house, he felt like he was going home. He liked that every time he arrived to work, the warden wanted to pray with him. Dear God, the warden prayed. Please bless my son Raphael today as he works to clean this house. Please be with him in all his duties and activities. Raphael was touched by the prayers. They filled him with courage and hope. Before long, the warden invited Raphael to pray as well. Raphael learned that the warden was a Seventh-day Adventist. Then the warden invited a Seventh-day Adventist pastor to read the Bible with Raphael in prison. Although Raphael had been taught as a boy to believe in God, he didn't know much about the Bible. The pastor came regularly to read the Bible with him. Raphael was amazed as they read. He had never heard the story of Joseph being arrested and thrown into prison. He knew nothing about Daniel being arrested and thrown into the lion's den. He was astonished to hear that Daniel, like Joseph, also interpreted a king's dream. He read that Jesus was coming soon and he believed it with all his heart. If only I had made good choices and had not ended up in prison, he thought. Boys and girls, part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help teenagers like Raphael make good choices in Uganda. The offering will help open a training center where young people can learn about Jesus while learning how to grow crops to make a living. Thank you for planning a generous 13th Sabbath offering. And tune in next week to hear the rest of Raphael's story. Have a happy Sabbath.
Thank you so much, Aunt Reese, for another powerful story that you would have shared with us that's happening around the world. Yes, thank you so much for our mission story. And now it's time for us to hear and see what to tell our yummy, yummy Rific Princess who loves to use her cooking recipes to still be able to share Jesus. Let's see what she's up to in the kitchen and what we're going to learn and how she's going to apply whatever this dish is to our story today. Mm, Princess Tekel's Tasty Treats. As we say goodbye to Puerto Rico and hello to Africa, we send an extra special shout out to Prince Jaden in Puerto Rico who shared his success of making Alma Habanas by using my recipe card. Great job, Jaden! Today, we'll be making Nigerian couscous. Let's get started. Our ingredients for today include chicken broth, couscous, onions, mushrooms, scallions, red and green bell pepper, tomato, olive oil, salt, cayenne, Maggi seasoning, and crushed red peppers. You will also be needing a pot and a lid, a saucepan, a cooking spoon, and a fork. After letting your chicken stock come to a boil, remove from heat, add your couscous, stir and cover, letting it sit for five to six minutes. After heating your oil, cook your vegetables and seasoning, except your crushed red peppers, for three minutes. Use your fork to fluff your couscous before adding it to your vegetables. Sprinkle in your crushed red peppers and serve. Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice by painfully dying for our sins. Thank you, Jesus, for choosing me. In gratitude, I choose to follow you each day. Right now, I'm choosing to dive into this couscous. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. That's an awesome recipe. Yes, and I've seen where, uh-huh, Prince Jaden would have made one of the recipes that Princess Decal would have shared from Puerto Rico. Thank you, Princess Decal, and thank you, Prince Jaden, for also sharing with us what you would have learned. But also, Princess Decal, thank you for sharing the biblical reference or illustration that we could use from everything that we do, including sharing yummy recipes my friends and princesses lesson nine is over it is done but come back next week for lesson 10 where we're going to continue to learn and grow learning from our primary quarterly yes indeed and guess what during the week you can still have fun reading your quarterlies because in it there are different days with different activities so come lesson for lesson 10 next week, I am sure and my prayer is that every day you would find an activity to do because it's right there in our quarterlies and learning about God can be very fun. Yes, it can. So Prince and Princesses, until next week, remember that our Heavenly Father, He wants us to be disciples. 
for him. Yes, and as disciples for him, we go out and share who he is with others so that they too can come to learn about his love and his grace and salvation so that all of us will be together when Jesus returns. I'll see you next week. Mwah. I love you. Our Heavenly Father, oh, he loves us oh so, so much more. Mwah. Let's end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be my name. Thou kingdom come, thou will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath, everyone! Bye! Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath, everyone! And we'll see you all again next week!